Okay, remembering that you have a test in two days. We're working on the lab today. Um, that means you need to have your Learn Smarts and your homeworks done. We will have a review the last 45 minutes of class next time. I am going to do a tutorial Wednesday next week review for those that need it, that would like extra help. I am not going to be able to do an after school one next week. Okay, I got family issues going on and I'm not staying after school. I'm sorry. I will be here before school, so if you need me before school, I'll be here. Okay, so for experiment 11, let's talk about it just for a second. Um, as you go back in the back, I would like you to start with A and go ahead and work through till you get down to D or whatever, however far you get. Remember that when you get to E, this needs to be done in the pre-lab. This procedures for A needs to be done in the pre-lab. So you need to have chosen and written the, the procedure and done the data table and done the, got the graph ready to go on the reacting with sulfuric acid and sulfite, with reacting magnesium ribbon and hydrochloric acid, with reacting the um, Alka-Seltzer with water. Okay, those need to all be cleared before you're going back into lab. So if you have got those cleared, uh, one other thing, all your chemicals are going to be on the east wall. All the extra equipment you need will be on the east wall. You'll just need to find a place to be. Okay, this can be done individually or it can be done as a group depending on how you want to do it. You move as fast or as slow as you want, but remember you have this period only and half of the next period um, and you'll have a um, tutorial on Monday and that's it. Okay, to get this done. So you're going to have to work with pretty good speed. Are there any questions? The disposal beakers are by the printer. Uh, make sure you put them in the appropriate disposal container. A and B go in one beaker together. B, C goes in its own and D goes in its own. Okay? All right, if you've got your stamp, you can go ahead and move. It's in the very, very back lab. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, forgot. One more thing. When you get to the point where it's the film canister, when you're doing the Alka-Seltzer. Remember that we are doing that in between the inside doors and the outside doors on one of the walls that has uh, um, bricks, so you can count how high they go. And you'll need to take either an ice cream bucket or ice cream bucket lid to set it on so we don't make a mess on the floor. Second thing, I thought of two things. Remember when you do the Petri dish, do not open it until you put it underneath running water. Okay, so it will take that sulfite gas or sulfur, um, that sulfite gas and put it down. Okay, anything else? Okay, got your stamps go. If you don't have your stamps, work as fast as you can and come see me and find me when you get it done. Okay, you can't go back until you got it done though and you have your stamp. <laughs> and he got up and he got back down. Okay.